Hey guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. I fully appreciate your presence. And today I would like to show you how to make space invaders on Minecraft. It's not hard, it's very easy. As you can see here, I'm using pistons and a dropper underneath that, and a cart, and I'm simply going to put a stand and a head on top of that stand. <laughs> I nearly said helmet, I'm sorry. And uh, there we go. So whack that on there and you click the button and it will start up your Space Invaders game. Very, very cool. If you guys want to know how this is built, then stick around and uh... I'll show you how it's done. Okay, let's get done. Let's get building. The first thing you want to do is make your rows. It's not hard. You, you can go as long as you want. Basically, you might you want to do it two blocks deep on each row. And you want to have about five to six rows. You could go up to about eight rows. It, it really depends on how long you want to play this game for. So make it uh, two blocks deep, of course, and then you want to use your powered rails, a cart, and uh, your stands, and a block of choice. And get all the different color heads, guys, because uh, it makes the game more interesting. So yeah, all we want to do is make it two blocks deep and put your power rails in every single row. So let's do that. And um, yeah, guys, so this is really fun and it works every time, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm putting a boundary around it now so you can see I've got like borders. I'm gonna put the head on the first stand. To put the stands on the tracks, so you literally just drop it on top of the track. And when you push the cart through it, it will pick it up automatically. And you put the pumpkin down like so. There we go. So it won't use the powered pumpkin, uh, so just use the other one for that. So there's our first one. You can see I've crouched placed carpet all through it like that. And all you have now is one simple color, one colored square going back and forwards. This is really interesting because when you hit it with a bow and arrow, it will actually disappear. Watch this. You need really good timing and a really good focus. There we go. So it disappears, which is really cool. So let's dig a deep like this. If you really wanted, you could have hoppers underneath that will collect the pumpkin head in survival and it will give you a score if you want to go crazy I might do that on version 2 but for now we just want to have some redstone uh, lamps on the second block on each row so that each rail is fully powered and push your cart in like this you'll see them go back and forwards so we have about one two three four five six rows let's uh, put two more carts down with the same process Whack that in, and whack this one in. And this is my own design, guys. I just had the idea at the last minute. I nearly didn't do a video today. And then I'm like, oh yeah, Space Invaders. And then, uh, yeah. So I've got a lever here with a bit of redstone into a block, as you can see here, one block apart from the rail. Get rid of the powers. You don't, you don't want the rail powered all the way to the end. So when you turn it off, it will stop at the second last block. You want to do the same thing for each and every row. Instead of using a lever for each and every one, you just want to connect it with a little bit of redstone dust. So I, you can see I'm just going to tack weld a bit of redstone dust up behind each one and link them all up together at the back. There we go. And let's connect it to the one and only lever. Okay, Levi. Lever. And when you turn it on and off, it will activate. So break away the redstone lamps that you don't, the torches that you don't because you don't want the rail powered all the way to the end so when you turn it off like this it will stop uh, this one here is the only one that has stopped a little differently from the others so I'm gonna find out why that is ah uh, there we go I have put two powered rails I mean uh, two torches instead of one so I'm gonna get rid of that one and move it over here so try and make it all exactly the same as each all right there we go so this should work now so yeah let's uh try this out so let's push this cart to get it going again and let's hope that it stops at the second last block there we go just like all the others very cool so behind that you want to put a dropper facing any direction we're not using the dropper or the dispenser for any reason other than to power the powered rails so just whack a dispenser or a dropper down right behind each rail like so so that when you turn it off, you'll see that the cart will stop perfectly. Now on top of that dropper or dispenser, put a non-sticky piston on top of each and every one of those. And now that you've done that, it should look like this. 
So we have a regular piston on top of your dropper or dispenser facing towards the cart. And then you can see how it's working here. So there we go. So when I turn it on and off, let's connect the other ones up real quick. There we go. They're all the same now. They're all activated and the game is switched on basically. So let's switch the game off real quick and let's see what happens. Uh, and let's cover it up with some more carpet. Yep, you can cover the whole thing. Let's do that real quick. Make it look cool. Okay, so we're nearly there. And leave two spaces on the ends for the cut. And fill up the gaps. And let's test this. Let's test this out. I'm really excited for this, guys, because this is a new invention, a new game, a mini game I have not yet seen. So, pretty happy with this. So, turn it on. And uh, as you can see, they're all going exactly the same time. And it looks kind of lame. So, if you want them to be more random. Let's just fight it this way, it's easy. Uh, if you want it to be more random, all you need to do is use some more repeaters and change the dials, basically. So, we'll do that now. So, we'll change each and every repeater um, where that line is. So remember where we put the redstone dust? Well, we're going to hack back into that. We're going to find that line where we covered it with carpet. There it is. And make sure you change all of your repeaters on every second row on a different tick. Some might be the same. Depends on how many rows you're going to have, but... I'm going to try and change mine up a bit. There we go. So let's cover that back up. And now let's see what happens when you switch the switch. Alright. Oh yeah. Let's uh, put some more, more of the bad guys in there. So the stand and the head. Just pick any color head you wish. I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use orange for that one. Alright. Let's turn this on. Let's see. So you turn it on and then they all activate. The piston will push them in motion giving you the chance to shoot them and they're all random now. You can see they're all running at different times. So now I'm just going to put a border around the entire thing and make it look good. And there we go. So yeah, let's uh, put another rail here so that you can sit in the cart and move back and forwards. That way you don't have to walk around. And put a slime block either side and that way it will push you a little bit more so you can gather some speed. Okay, let's test this out. Oh yeah, I'm going to move that lever, as you can see over there, a little closer to the beginning of the game. So let's just hook that up with some redstone and a repeater or two. And whack back in your switch. There we go. So the lever's set, ready to go. Let's try the game out real quick. Oh yeah, when it when you turn it off, it looks cool, because they all disappear. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, let's try this out. So you press left or right, and you can actually control the cart. And you can shoot if you wish and it is really hard to aim but if you got good focus it's not impossible and it's actually a lot of fun so we now have space invaders oh, I got one oh, I got two I actually got two guys that is awesome awesome okay let's turn it off now so when you turn it off, they all hide underneath the wall, and they're all under here. So how cool is that? So when you uh, break the helmet, all you have to do is go back in there and whack it back on. It's very simple. If you guys like this video, please subscribe and like my videos. It does help. I'm Sarah from 190. See you guys tomorrow.